B7 is the next block, and B7 is a four and a half inch square with applique diamonds and footballs. So for placement, I'm going to take an X with my light pencil line. Then I'm going to base my diamonds, and I'm going to place them almost at the corner, pretty much close as close as I can without, you know. And then I'm going to be on my X line. Okay, so then I'm going to put, I'm going to applique all of these on their corners before I place these. Because I want to make sure that these are in place, but I want to get each diamond on the pencil line. So for my pieces, I've got my four and a half inch square that I'm going to baste and then I'll draw on it. My diamonds, I'm going to do opposite sides then opposite sides. My footballs for basting, what I do is I do a gathering stitch and then I pull it tight and then I thread baste that side to this as I pull it with my stiletto make it super tight so that you get this really nice curve on here and then I tuck the ends in when I applique it on. So I'm going to go ahead and get my diamonds basted and my block, my square prepped and then I can get started. So I've drawn my pencil lines on my square and I've basted my diamonds but I had forgotten that these are not equal diamonds. One side is slightly longer than the other. So I've got this section, this one is one way, this one's the other. So this is the longer section here and this is the longer section here. You can do it either way. You can put the longer section up like this or the shorter section up like this. I'm gonna do the shorter section up to the corner. Whatever you do, do it consistently for all four corners. That's why I wanted to point this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these attached to the square. Okay, so I've got my diamonds. The longer sides are going towards the center. I've lined up my points with the corner. This, this point is right on the corner edge and right on this line here. And I'm gonna go ahead and stitch these down applique. That way I can place my footballs a lot easier. So I've got my diamonds appliqued and I've taken my staples out. The next thing to do is to baste my footballs so that I can place them where they need to go. Now that my footballs are basted, I'm going to place them and I'm going to place the point of each football between each point of these diamonds. That's why it's important that they're all exactly where they need to be. And so what I'm going to do is my tags go this way on this situation and in order for me to be as accurate as possible I'm gonna put these outside so I can see the point the best I can like this one here and then when I applique it I'll, I'll finish it up to that point there so I'm gonna go ahead and finish positioning these and staple them down so I've appliqued my footballs down I've taken all but one staple out. I was working on doing that and taking my basting out. But when I went to detach this one, I see that this is not matched up well. They're not all perfect, but this one is significantly off. So I'm going to have to take the ends off and fix it. I'm going to take the ends off of these two footballs and get them a little bit better lined up. So I fixed the one corner and now I have completed my B7 block.